Hello everyone. Today we are here to show you new aluminum alloy heat sink with double fan and the one without fan for Raspberry Pi 4. We'll talk about both the heat sinks and we'll see how to install it to the Raspberry Pi. These heat sinks are specially designed for Raspberry Pi 4 Model B to help improve the performance of Raspberry Pi board by dissipating the heat generated by the processor. The unique structure and the increased surface area along with high grade aluminum material help to reduce the operating temperature. Both the heat sink casing is easy to install and has ultra thin design. The heat dissipation is faster in the heatsink with fans than that compared to without fans. As I mentioned earlier, it is specially designed for Raspberry Pi 4 Module B. All the slots of heatsink matches with Raspberry Pi 4 perfectly. As the design is open case, it does not affect the Wi-Fi signal. Also, the aluminum material is light in weight. Now we'll see how to install this uh, heatsink casing with Raspberry Pi 4 Module B. First, we'll see how to install the heatsink without the fan. This heatsink comes with the required bolts, allen key and thermal tapes to install it to the Raspberry Pi 4 model. It is uh, important to install these thermal tapes for providing contact with the conduction surface of the heatsink. Here. And one more. You can see I have attached three thermal tapes here. And the one here. And I'll put. Now I'll fix these allen keys. one so you can see that this heatsink perfectly fits the raspberry pi 4 model now let's move on towards assembling heatsink with fans on raspberry pi 4 heatsink with fan also comes with the required thermal tapes allen key and bolts uh, this casing requires two types of bolts one for uh, connecting the fans and other for connecting the case with the Raspberry Pi. So you can see here the casing it fits perfectly with the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. This thermal tapes are stick to the same places as we sticked earlier. Now we'll fit this case. Now we'll fix the fans. So here it's done. Now connect this fan uh, wires to Raspberry Pi GPI open 4 and 6 which is 5 volt and ground. Now let's see if the fan works. I'm connecting the power supply. And you can see that the moment I connected the power supply, the fan started rotating. So this was it for the video. Thanks for watching guys.